Yes. New at 10 o'clock tonight. Now, we all know that generators can be a lifesaver when the power goes out, but they can also be a huge life taker, spewing poisonous fumes into our houses, garages, and workplaces. Yes, they can. That's exactly what happened to these three people mm. from E. Toil in Nacogdoches County. 63-year-old Deborah Wright, 60-year-old James Harkness Jr., and 42-year-old Richard Woodward. All three died from carbon monoxide poisoning. Mm. KETK's Lauren Margolis explains how it happened and how to keep your family safe. When the power goes out, many resort to using a generator for heat, lights, and cooking. They were taking the steps to, to stay heated, uh, which thousands of people have had to do. Uh, unfortunately, where the generator was placed uh, was just not in a good area. The three were trying to stay warm in last week's storm when they all became victims of a silent killer. Carbon monoxide is a is a very poisonous gas. It has no smell and no taste, uh, and it's a it's a silent but deadly killer. The two men and a woman were using a portable gas generator similar to this one. It was placed on the front porch, and the exhaust pipe was so close to the home it melted a hole in the wall, sending those dangerous fumes inside. It's a tragic and very very sad event uh, to see the loss of a life like that, especially when there's multiple people. Uh, and you, you do hear about these things across our state and our nation that does happen. Uh, to experience it firsthand is, it, it is a terrible feeling, uh, one that I'll never forget. Sheriff Bridges says there should be some distance between your generator and home. A good 15 feet with an exhaust, you know, uh, not pointing toward your residence. And he urges East Texans to invest in a carbon monoxide detector. Many of them look just like smoke alarms, powered by batteries and cost as little as $10. Other things produce carbon monoxide just besides generators. If you have natural gas going to your house, uh, things of that nature. A small price to pay for something that can potentially save your life. Lauren Margolis, KTK News.